Okay, hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the Intel RealSense camera, the Monocle camera with the Raspberry Pi. After that, in this video, I'll show you how to run the Distance Measurement Python program. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up the Intel camera. And just as a fair warning, this process will be very lengthy and it'll take a long time. And in any kind of um, time in this process, if you encounter an error, just try to run the command again. So this for me probably took around three hours. So once again, just have some patience. So uh, this YouTube video, and I will link this YouTube video below, it really helped me when I was trying to set up the camera. So uh, I think you start at 306. This is when the installation happens. And then you end somewhere around here. So you end once um, you go to the Raspberry Pi configurations and you change the settings for your GL driver. The rest of the video um, is just how to install OpenCV. And if you're using the same kind of virtual environment that you uh, used for your justice detector, you should already have OpenCV installed. Uh, so it really shouldn't be an issue anymore. So you don't need to install OpenCV again, but you can use a different virtual environment if you want to keep it more kind of organized. Uh, but I just recommend you do uh, use a virtual environment because there is a lot of compatibility issues with um, the Intel kind of RealSense camera. So it's really good to kind of keep your packages, keep libraries and their certain versions kind of separate from uh, separate from other versions. So um, there are in the bottom of this video written instructions um, in this GitHub page. I also have written instructions too. Uh, so if you go to kind of distance and you can see camera install, written instructions down here too. Uh, so uh, and let's just kind of look a bit at these instructions. So just a kind of for fair warning, there are a lot of make J ones, and these um, commands will take extremely extremely long. So maybe even an hour. Um, so you have to you know, make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is strong. Uh, make sure that you have the patience you know, to make these run because this will take an extremely long time. So uh, you really just need to follow up to here. Up to here, this is uh, where uh, you need to follow. So now we're going to look at the Raspberry Pi uh, terminal and see how the Intel camera runs after we installed and followed through this uh, tutorial. Okay, so you should have finished the installation process. So in order to test whether you installed it correctly, you want to restart your terminal. So exit it out and then activate your virtual environment again. And then you want to type in in sorry, real sense dash viewer. And hopefully this screen will pop up. Um, then just obviously you can just turn them on. So you can see this 2D, 3D. And then we also have the uh, 3D version. So it works. So uh, next thing we want to do is we want to kind of run uh, the Intel Morocco camera with our Python script. So there was one big problem I always encountered when I was trying to do that. I would always get a no module PyRealSense 2 error. And that was a problem because PyRealSense 2 is a library that we need in order for the Monocle camera to run. So um, I have a fix and it took me a long time to figure out the solution, but I have a fix. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a folder with your Python file that requires the Intel camera. So I have a folder called distance and I have my two distance files. Uh, uh, distance Python files. And then you want to transfer a couple of files. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your virtual environment, so TF Lite 1, then you want to go into lib real sense, and then you want to go into build. So you see build, um, and then you want to copy these three .so files into that same folder where you have the Python script. And then after that, uh, you also want to go from liberal sense, same thing, go back to build, and then you want to go to wrappers, um, and then you want to go to Python, and then you want to copy these six files, same thing, into the 
distance file or into the file that requires the pyrolocent to module. So uh, just in terms of making it faster, I just copied these six files, um, not six files, these what? Um, eight files into a folder so I can keep on transferring them each time instead of going back and remembering the path and the directory. So um, essentially uh, what happens is if you can see uh, down in this step right here, uh, this uh, this step, once you edit the .bash rc file, you shouldn't have to kind of copy and paste those uh, eight files I told you. But uh, for some weird reason, uh, I still get um, the no module pyrolocent 2 error. So even though I follow this kind of step um, you know, correctly, so uh, we just so um, you if you set a Python path for the Python wrapper. And if you um, and what this does is it just defines a path to pile real sense two, um, and for some reason it still doesn't work. Um, then you probably have to copy those files I told you. Maybe there is a solution. Maybe I was editing it wrong. Maybe the Python script has been in a certain folder. But as of now, this is the simplest kind of solution I can find. Uh, but um, still, kind of still follow this just in case it does work for you. So. Um, the next thing I want to show you is how do we run um, how do we run um, the Python distance uh, measurement. So you want to go to your folder down here, and I just want to open it. So there's two folders, two ones: distance live and distance video. So obviously, distance live is uh, going to be for when you want it to be like you no know, live, right? When you want to see the video in real time and see the results in real time. And then we have distance video and um, essentially distance video is just when you have a pre-recorded video. So the thing about the Intel monocular camera is that you cannot just have an MP4 video, MOV video, AVI, AVI video, that doesn't work. The file and the only type of file it takes is a .bag file. So you can record .bag files from the Intel RealSense camera. Um, or, uh, I haven't really played around with this that much, but there are ways where you can transfer and convert the mp4 file to a .bag file. I think it uses OpenCV, and if you just go to Intel uh, websites, I'm pretty sure they have pre-recorded code. I think it uses um, pre-recorded code that will help, that you can use to convert an mp4 to a .bag file. So, the only type of file it will, that will work is a .bag file. So, uh, next thing is we want to kind of see how are you going to run the distance live. So make sure that your Intel camera is kind of plugged in, access your virtual environment, and go to where you stored the file. And make sure you have those uh, eight, well, eight files I told you. So next thing you want to do is just Python 3 distance live. So it does take some time to um, it does take some time to kind of run. So you can see down here, it does take some time to kind of run, and then it gives the distance um, and it has um, the angle as well. Uh, and the resolution isn't the best, but I am using the recommended kind of resolution that they have on the. Um, I am kind of using the recommend and press Q to exit. But I am using the recommended um, resolution that they have on the Intel uh, website. But obviously, you can increase the resolution. It just might not be that fast anymore. So I'll leave any questions you have in the comments, any concerns you have in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.